Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the Daily Vibe. Good morning. Just got done taking some trash out. Lillian has figured out how to jump off the deck. <laughs> As you can see, so we had all the dogs. We're gonna be doing some work today. I'm trying to get some more of that pond work done. This whole past week, we didn't get to do a lot of it because we were sick and Just different funk. things happened. Yeah, we were in a funk week. <laughs> well, we weren't in a funk, it was a sickness. So yeah. it caused us not to really work as much as we wanted to on the pond. I'm not 100% sure what Melanie and Gary are doing today. I think they got some other things going on. Yeah, they but, got their own little thing they got going on. And we've been, we didn't want to work on it more because that big tree, that was like the next thing I wanted to get out, but I don't want to halt progress on it by having to wait and wait and wait and wait if other things are going on. So I think today me and Roxanne, we're going to be getting back to work on it just a little tiny bit. Yeah, yeah. well, we don't have Wyatt home with us either, so. No, he's at school. Yeah. He's better. Yeah. Wyatt is doing a lot better. Oh, uh, he's he's back to normal. Yeah, back to normal. So yeah. it was just a, a couple day cold yeah. for him. A little sickness. A little sickness, as you guys know. Um, but other than that, I'm getting ready to, or I'm ready to get back at it. Yeah, well, the good thing is, is all our stuff's already over there. Kind of. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, our chainsaw and everything, so you don't have to take it down there, but. No. <clears throat> no. So we are putting Lillian, all the dogs are in the crate, nice and warm. They're going to be hanging out together since Lillian can jump off the deck now. We tried to see if she would just stay, but obviously she didn't want to. No, and I... So she's learning. Well, yeah, and I left her up there because she was still eating, like, breakfast from this morning, so... Well, yeah. You know, I just... Eat, oh. <laughs> eating her breakfast, so yeah, obviously... Um, she's up there eating, but we don't want her to come off the deck. Yeah, and I didn't think she would, but obviously we were over there by the trash, and she come running over there and all, hey! Yeah, which... <laughs> Which means now, though, babe, we can't just leave her on the deck. I wonder where she jumped from. Probably from here onto. I bet you she jumped onto that um, drawer thing and then jumped down. Well, luckily, <laughs> when we need to crate our dogs, we do have Lillian's own crate now. Yeah, we do. <laughs> so we can put her in that and she'll be okay. Yeah, she'll be all right. I mean, she can hang out with the big dogs, too, in the big cage, you know? I know it's, I feel bad though because it's kind of cramped. Yeah. It's all the dogs in one cage. Yeah. But it is kind of chilly this morning. Fall is in the air, like we said before. <laughs> so the mornings are a little more chilly than it has been, obviously, in the past couple months. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so they stay nice and warm together. Yeah, yeah, they all huddle up and uh, body heat, keep each other warm. And Ghost is probably the one that's going to be like the most warm all winter long. Yeah, he's got pretty thick fur. Yeah, he's like way thicker than both Maura and Jaina, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yesterday we went, um, we've been looking for a while, not yesterday, Saturday, excuse mm -hmm. me. Yeah. Saturday. Um, so for the past couple of months, you guys have been looking for something to do for the kids, right? Yeah. So us and, uh, so Melanie and Lissa, we were all kind of talking about, um, it'd be so cool to take all the kids to a pumpkin patch, you know? And in Vegas, they have, like, around this time, they have pumpkin patches, like, everywhere, it seems like. Yeah. You know? So, we obviously went out looking for one, and we found one. Um, it's not too far from here, and we went out there on Saturday, took all the kids, and they had, it was really cool. They had, like, um, bounce houses there. They had uh, pumpkins, obviously, and a little train ride, and a hay bale maze, and potato uh launcher thing it was cool it was a lot of fun yeah it was a lot of fun yeah i think all the kids enjoyed it but it was kind of a hassle at first because which you didn't mention uh, yeah <laughs> so for the past like i don't know a month and a half or something like around here um since it's a small community people use facebook for everything yeah, yeah like i don't i'm i don't even get on facebook i don't yeah That's and I, something I, I don't ever use anymore. they have um on facebook they have a group for like our area um, and they just kind of talk about what's happening around in your area and uh, they popped up with the uh, flyer for the pumpkin patch um, actually a couple months ago yeah that's what I was that's yeah, what I was getting and, at and it was it said the name of the farm that was putting it on the address all that kind of stuff yeah and you know they have <laughs> it was a flyer right it was a flyer yeah and uh, so 
<laughs> told that, you how much it was to get in. Yeah, and that, was, and that flyer was the one that we were using, like I was sharing with everybody. Hey, there's a pumpkin patch here I found. And so the day of, we were getting ready to go and we're going by the address that's on the flyer. Well, it took us to a place, it took us to the right place but they weren't doing the pumpkin patch thing. No, but we had to go way out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Right? Not really nowhere, but you guys know what I'm saying. Off dirt road, just, you know, not on the main drag. It wasn't in town. It was out in the woods. Yeah. Kind of a thing to a farm. We're driving out there and, you know, it took us like an hour to get there. And we're looking, looking, there's nothing around. We're like... Yeah, we pull up and like... Look, what's going on here? Yeah, there's... I can see where there could be something. You yeah, know? so... I had to scour through and find and finally found the phone number and I got a hold of somebody at that farm That was supposed to be putting on and they said oh, they're not doing it this year. Yeah, they moved it to They 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 made the flyer they were going to do it, but some stuff came up and they ended up not being able to host Do it it, host yeah. it and stuff right yeah. but then but they didn't re put out like a cancellation flyer or a big notification say hey you know, no, the the flyer of them doing it was still floating out there on the group, the group. <laughs> and it's like, man, dude. So yeah. we found another one from a different place that was in a different um, town, is more up north. And so that was another 35 minutes away. Yeah, from but it where was, we were at. It was kind of cool because we've never, I've never been that far on that um, on that road, like on the other side. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's and that's fine. I'm just saying it yeah, was a hassle to... because to get there. Yeah, well, it, everything was like, what is going on here? Yeah, yeah, it was just kind <laughs> of a chaotic mess because it didn't help that my GPS for some reason was on uh, biking. I know, I was just going to say that. Yeah, and so of course, <laughs> yeah, for that. the bike, it doesn't want to take you on the main road, so it takes you on all these back roads. And while we were like driving, it just, I don't know, it didn't dawn on me that uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was on bike, <laughs> you know. So anyways, we got that taken care of and then figured out where the new spot was. And <laughs> yeah, and took the kids, got a bunch of pictures. It was cool, like Roxanne said. Yeah, it was a lot of it fun. It was just a, a pumpkin patch, you know. Yeah, they had like a little petting zoo there. And it was it was at somebody's property. Yeah. It wasn't like a company that put it on. It was like a local somebody, you know, mom and pop kind of pumpkin patch. Yeah, it was, um, I mean, definitely a lot different kind of pumpkin patch than like Vegas. But obviously in Vegas, it's like more commercial and probably one company that owns all of them oh yeah no in vegas 100 percent. it's it's like the uh like you know christmas tree lots where they're owned by one company and they all look the same yeah yeah mm -hmm. like in vegas they have pumpkin patch oh, there's pumpkins obviously there but they have these giant blow up slides and you know like corn dog and food you can buy and all this stuff right like total like you're going on like amusement park with no rides yeah yeah but it's ridiculous too over there in Vegas at the store like at Smith's or something or Albertson's or whatever right your grocery store yeah right a large pumpkin and I could be wrong a little bit but I know it's cheap like this is like 12 bucks 10 bucks something like that right around there yeah right but at the pumpkin patch in Vegas they're $35 I remember it I used to get so mad. I'm like, yeah, really? A little spendy. <laughs> Who's gonna pay thirty-five dollars for a pumpkin? One pumpkin, thirty-five bucks for a large pumpkin. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But at this one here, it was like eight bucks. It was eight dollars for a large pumpkin, and then yeah. they actually they were letting the kids twelve and under they get to pick uh, one free little pumpkin. Yeah. So all the kids scored two pumpkins this go around. Yeah. So we. Us three, we got we all got a big pumpkin, mm -hmm. and then Wyatt got to get a small, tiny pumpkin. And a big one. Not like a tiny one, but yeah. like, it's I don't a, know, it's a good volleyball size. size or something, yeah, right? Yeah. A small one. And so that's cool that they did that. They let them have one for free. There was a bunch of pumpkins there. I mean, they were everywhere. Oh, they had yeah. a ton of them. Yeah. They had like an old truck, like an old like 64, probably older than that, like 50s style truck, a Chevy. And they had all these, like it was a big open field right with all the stuff set up here and they had all these little like photo booths yeah kind of um things set up they weren't booths but they're like like for example they had the old truck full of like moss and like you can see it's rusted and it looks like it's been sitting there forever yeah but then in front of it on the side they put like hay bales with like pumpkins and made it look like a scene yeah you can sit down and go take a picture yeah next it was to a, a 
photic uh, for backdrop. Yeah, like backdrops. That's yeah, better. Yeah. 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 And they had like an old grain silo that was all rusted out, and like they, you know, you could tell it hasn't been used forever. Yeah. Right. But on the bottom, they put like a bunch of like deer corn and like in a barrel and like spread it out, it made it look really nice for a backdrop. So that was really cool. Um, I haven't seen that in pumpkin patches, but we're from the West Coast, so it's a little different over there. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was really <clears throat> cool, and I like that that they do the photo like stations over there yeah because a lot of people like to go and like take pictures at the pumpkin patch really nice pictures you know so yeah yeah it's cool that they you know gave you different options to take pictures and i try to take a lot of pictures um a lot of it was just of the pumpkins yeah <laughs> i hate to say right everybody's running around you couldn't get the kids to stay still for five seconds yeah we did take some pictures of all of us together and yeah um i know sylvia she knows you already had your breakfast she didn't get no love. Yes, she did. I didn't get no love. Yes, she did. But yes, she did. Yeah, I had a really good time at the pumpkin patch. That was fun. Yeah, um, it was a good time. We were bummed out, though, because when we first, like I said, when when it was, went to the first place and we thought they weren't doing it, we yeah. thought we were, you know, SOL. I know, we did. And we were all thinking, man, we were all excited. Well, especially because Roxanne looked up where the other one was at and it said two hours away. Yeah, but that was when I was on bike. And I, and I told her, I said, I'm not driving two hours. Like, that's so far. Yeah, that's for a pumpkin patch. For a pumpkin patch. patch. I said, just to go there real quick and be there for less than an hour. Yeah. And then drive back. I said, uh-uh. But then we realized, yeah, it was on bike and not car. Yeah, yeah. Car is 35 minutes. Yeah. So I was like, all right, well, <laughs> yeah, girl, it's just That's not, that not bad. That's quick mode. That's easy. Yeah, and then we all, um, we went out to eat afterwards. <clears> yep. Um, played uh, to this nice little like restaurant bar or grill well, it's area. a bar and grill mm -hmm. um we went there because mike didn't get to really celebrate anything for his birthday he had stuff come up when it was his birthday uh, yeah that was when sickness was here still yeah. too um a little bit ago and so he wanted to go out um and play some pool yeah yeah for I like think, a birthday celebration i think he played thing. everybody yep and only me and david are willing to beat him everyone else lost he said yeah, I lost. I beat him. I Barely. almost had him. Like we well, were, we were both on the eight ball, and he got it in there. So. And I barely <laughs> won, because I was losing the whole game against Mike. Yeah. The whole game, <laughs> until the very, very end. It came down to like. I think I had two of my balls still on the table, and he had one plus the eight ball, right? Yeah. And I just happened to win. <laughs> like I just happened and just fell into my favor for yeah. winning so that was good yeah, yeah that was good <laughs> I haven't played pool in a long time yeah like, I haven't played pool I, the last time we were there I don't think I played pool I was hanging out yeah but I didn't play I think I played pool the time before so yeah it's been a while yeah and in Vegas I would I wouldn't like I would never go to the bars and play pool it was never really my thing yeah you know to do that so I like to play pool yeah it's fun I can't do it like every night. It'd be cool to have a pool table available if you ever wanted to play pool. Yeah, right? That would be cool. You know, just to have one, right, Sylvia? Yeah. Um, Sylvia would like it. It's funny because when we were there, whoop, I got David, uh, he um, reminded me that I had a birthday there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a couple years ago. I totally forgot about that. Did you? Yeah. I don't know a, how was, or why, but I just it was did. your first birthday here. Yeah, we went over there. And we went there for your guys' birthday. Yeah, me and Mountie. Uh-huh, that first year. That was that first ice well, it's like It's like the only thing, like, adult-wise like that to do around here. Well, that's close. And, yeah, that's close in that, you know, around we, here. We can go to Fort Smith, too. But that's an hour away. True. Right? Yeah. So I'm saying close, right? So, but they have good food there. Um, it's... I like it because it's it's a bar and grill. It's like a restaurant bar, like bar and grill. Yeah. But um, like the kids are allowed everywhere. Yeah. So like if the kids want to go in the pool, uh, pool Call. table area, yeah. you're, they're allowed. It's not because um, it's a restaurant, right? Yeah. It's not a bar. No. But they have a bar in it, so. Yeah. No, it's good. So see, like I said, it's the only thing around here. If you want that type of atmosphere, it's the closest thing because, as you guys know, we live in a dry county. I don't know if you guys knew that, but we do. Yeah. Um, so you have to go out of county lines for any of that kind of stuff. So. Yeah. Which, a lot of times, it's just, <laughs> like, for that bar and grill place, it's, like, right there. It's on, right on the county line. Yeah, like, as soon as you cross over, it's right there. <laughs> yeah. Um, whoever owns it was smart. Yeah. I'll put it that way. Yeah, yeah. All They're like, great. nope, I'm going to make it as close as possible to the dry county. Yeah, that way... 
People that way I get all the money. Yeah, the first one <laughs> into town, you know. It's like I say, here too, where we live, I mean, I guess every year, or not every year, but every time they vote, right, I've heard. Every time it, uh, it's time to vote on new stuff for the county, the, the vote to make it a, a wet county and get rid of the dry county, every single time it comes up. Like every time. Yeah. It always fails, right? Um, but eventually I think it's going to pass. And what I'm getting at, so when it does pass, it could be in 20 years, it could be 100 years. But whenever it passes, whoever is the first person to open up a bar and grill in town or a liquor store... Or anything like that is going to be rich. Oh yeah, yeah. Rich, rich, rich. Yeah, I and it'll probably end up being one of the city council's, uh, you know, nephews or something. Probably. I was just going to say I wouldn't be surprised if, if you they know, would second even, cousin. Yeah, if they know that it's going to pass, they'll, they already have people aligned. Yeah, they'll have a store built before the vote. Yeah, and then right when the vote's done, you'll see. Oh, it's going to be a bar and grill. How how convenient. <laughs> how convenient. <laughs> 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 that seems to always happen. You know, that happened in Vegas. That, yeah, it did. Right? With the dispensaries. Yes. When Vegas voted for the dispensaries to become... Uh, well, when Yeah, recreation is what I'm getting at. And they were going to allow dispensaries. It's real funny. They only allowed 13 licenses in Vegas yeah. when that passed. Just so happened uh, the mayor's nephew got one. Uh, some city councilmen's, you know, second cousins got one. Um, all these, I think one of the, uh, one of the congressmen for Nevada, their like second niece or some something like that got one. It's funny how that works out in our yeah. government, right? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I guess they were in the right place at the right time. Yeah, just so it just, happened. It just so happened the opportunity came to them, you know, at the right time. We all know the truth. Yeah, it's kind of weird how things like that happen. I mean, I the Goodmans, like, man. The Mayor Goodman. That's what I'm talking about in Vegas, man. Yeah. Her, like, nephew got a, a, one of the permits. One of the 13 in Vegas. Yeah, he probably got three of them out yeah. of the 13. It's how that cold. happened? It's rigged. Yeah. Rigged. <laughs> I heard, though, too, like, to, like, open up a dispensary business in Vegas, it's, like, ridiculous amount of money. Huh? Like, for the insurance and stuff on it. Oh, I'm sure. And, uh... And I'm not, this isn't conspiracy or nothing. Like, I swear this is true. You have to have a direct video feed, I think, to like the ATF or something. I'm dead serious. Really? ATF? Yeah, I, I swear. It's some, one of those companies, one of the three letters. It's not FBI or anything like that. So they can always take a look and make sure, you know, everything's up to par. Yeah. Look it up. I'm not making it up. That's not just, I'm not a made up thing. You're, they have to have access to your camera feed, like in those dispensaries, to make it okay. Really? Everything's got to be recorded 24 7. Yeah. Hmm. That's interesting. But anyway, yeah, so once in Boonville, which you guys know the area we live, around that area, if that ever becomes wet, watch, mark my words. Mark my words. The mayor's daughter, the mayor's, uh, yeah. you know, cousin. Somebody on the city City council. council's brother-in-law, right? Yeah. <laughs> they'll be the ones that get the liquor licenses and nobody else will be fighting for it tooth and nail. Yeah, they'll probably allow like two restaurants, bar and grill. And yeah, and it'll be... Their cousin and their brother-in-law, like I said. Yeah. In then, one family. You know, if you and me wanted to go open up a restaurant. No, denied. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to have a liquor license. Denied. Because they already have their two. That's right. You That's know. what will happen. Anyway. Yeah, it's messed up how the, <laughs> it's dominated like that. And, you know. I know. I was in a bad mood this morning. I'm watching the news again. I'm not going to go into it. but yeah, So it puts you in a bad mood. mood and you're like. <sighs> I know. It's not a bad mood, but you guys know. Like, I'm not in a bad mood, but you start getting. Well, it gets you going. Makes you your, think. your blood gets boiled. You know, and so. I, I, I know people say, you know, well, then don't watch the news, you know, if it really makes you that upset. You're right. You have to know what's going on in the world, I, you though. You know, but I, I, I can't You have help. to know what's going on? I have to know what's going on. I mean, I can't just ignore things. <sighs> I just can't. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's better to educate yourself. It's true. Even though it makes you mad, but that's life, too. I mean, there's things that you got to do that make you mad. <laughs> you know? It's true, guys. <laughs> But we're going to get busy, guys. We've been jaw-jacking and blabbing away on the rants, so... Yeah, yeah. But we do want to get some stuff done today. Yeah, we do. We and do have plans. We do. We've got some things we got to get done this week. And, yeah. And, uh, yeah. So... So, happy Monday, guys. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, you guys had a great weekend. We had a good weekend, so... Yeah. Um, Stay good, safe, guys. Good weekend. Stay motivated, and we will catch you guys all tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys.